Pastor Luke speaking the truth of the word and reaching the youth. Saving souls of the old, doing God's work with no to do. And he turning up every week and get lit. And then in the church on Sunday, you can tune in and get your fix. Turn up, turn up. I need you to help me preach this little message this morning. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, don't you dare give up because it's not what you think. Family, hear, hear me this morning. Perception is the seedbed for deception. Let me say that again because I need you to write that down. Perception is the seedbed for deception. I need you to get that because challenges and opportunities often come, but they come disguised. This is why the Lord tells us in Proverbs, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path because as bad as it may seem, I need you to understand the Spirit of the Lord is speaking to you today that don't you dare give up because it's not what you think. It was Maya Angelou who said, you may encounter many defeats, but you must not be defeated. She said, in fact, it may be necessary to encounter the defeats so you can know who you are and what you can rise from and how you can still come out of it. If you can only grow when the sun is shining, if, if you can only grow when things are good in your life, then you will always remain the size that you are. But when you're able to go through seasons, and you understand that there's going to be some sunny days, there's going to be some rainy days, there are going to be some cold days. But when I look back over my life, my good days outweigh my bad days. So I won't complain. When God sends you, it's still Him doing the work through you. I don't ever want you to get out here in this thing called life and think that it's you. Because sometimes the accolades of man can make you think that it's you doing all the work. But you must understand that we are the vessels, we are not the source. Sometimes, here it is Lowell, when God orders your steps, sometimes God will order you to the wilderness. See, we, we, we have a tendency to think that God just orders us to good stuff. But the Bible tells us that the Spirit led Jesus into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. So sometimes, watch this, it is God that will lead you to that wilderness. Sometimes when God leads us to an open door and God begins to order our steps, it is God when he's trying to move us from one environment into another environment, it is God that will lead us to a Red Sea. Although there may be a faster way of doing it. Is there anybody in here that's ever asked God, God, why do I have to go through it this way? Isn't there an easier way to do it? Isn't there a faster way to do it? But I've come this morning on divine assignment to tell you that sometimes God will lead you the long way around. God does not train you for battle like man does. Man trains you physically. God trains you spiritually. Man tries to train your muscle. God tries to train your mind. Is, is, is there anybody other than me that can testify that, 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 that when you looked around and you started to assess where you were, you came to the conclusion, I'm in a fight. And, 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 and sometimes, sometimes he hits me, sometimes I hit him. Some days he has me down, some days I got him down. I'm, I'm in a show enough fight. And I know that I'm in a fight because whenever there's somebody that's going through something and I try to encourage them that they're going to be all right. 
and then they call me and say, Pastor, you was right on the spot. Everything is all right. While I'm celebrating with them, the enemy starts attacking me somewhere else. 